This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, but the real star today show are these awesome gloves by IMB Racewear. IMB Racewear are a new company that specialize in eSport gear or eSport wear and go by the company motto, designed for you, by you. And that is a very cool motto if you're a modern sim racer, a eSport competitor, or an established sim racing team. IMB Racewear also make a variety of different products from gloves like these to socks, shoes, even jerseys, and all of them are completely customizable. And on top of that, they are a distributor for a couple of high-end sim racing companies. So IMB Racewear contacted me about their gloves in particular, which is actually somewhat ironic because recently I did a video on, and as many of you know, I have killed countless amount of suede wheels by running them with my bare hands, allowing the dirt and oil and sweat to get into the wheel and ruin its finish. And I do recommend wearing gloves when using a suede wheel. So again, it's sort of ironic that they contacted me about these very gloves. Now I could do an entire show on the topic of wearing gloves while sim racing, and I'm sure there are plenty of people who are gonna totally defend not wearing gloves, and you're gonna have a bunch of people who also defend wearing gloves. It's one of those kind of things, and it really is to each his own, or for whatever works best for you. However, if you're using a suede wheel, you're gonna ruin it with your bare hands, and again, I do highly recommend wearing gloves. So I'm not gonna get into the debate of wearing gloves or not wearing gloves. I'm gonna assume that you're interested in gloves and how these actually perform. And I will compare the difference between wearing gloves and not wearing gloves while sim racing when it comes down to performance, not so much a preference. IMB Racewear make a variety of different styles of glo gloves to choose from. And it's really cool what you can do to personalize the gloves to make them just the way you want. Now for starters, you have two different style types. You have the long gloves, which go all the way over the wrist and have a little bit of elastic keeping them tight and on your hands nicely. And then you have the Velcro closure short gloves, which just Velcro around the, the wrist. So you have the two styles to choose from. Both models are available with the seams to the inside for the better look, or with the seams to the outside for more comfort. In both cases, the gloves are made of a Mara Micro Suede that has a real leather feel to it and allows for a very strong yet thin material to be used. The outside of the fabric has a bit of a Lycra feel to it, while the palms have this super grippy rubberized material on them. And being of modern design, or I call it the Ferrucci mod, the fingers have cell phone or tablet sensitive tips on the index and thumb tips of the gloves. Looking deeper into the customization of the gloves, starting out at 39 pounds or about $54 in the US, you have the semi-custom variation of the gloves. For that, there are nine different templates that allow you to change the three main colors to make your own variation of each of those designs. This includes the ability to add your own name to most of the long designs or along the Velcro strap on the short ones. Between the layouts and the color options of the designs, it would be pretty easy to come up with a pair that match your favorite car paint or team logo designs. And the other option that is available is the complete custom layout version where you can really come up with any design that you could possibly want upload that design and have it turned into your very own gloves or send your color scheme and logos to the IMB Racewear team and let them come up with their own design and that full custom version is going to set you back 49 pounds or 68 dollars but that really opens up your options to anything that you can design or imagine. For the purpose of my review, IMB Racewear were going to send me the full custom variation. So I went ahead and sent them some of my color schemes. I sent them some of my logos and I let them go to work to see what they could come up with. And these are the gloves that they sent me for review with their design influenced by my color scheme and logo. I got a set of the long and short and custom sim pit graphics. You can see they went a different direction with each design. So let's check them out a bit more. I elected for the better looking internal stitched gloves. On the short pair, they have my name clearly written on the Velcro strap. Ah, personalized, I love it. They used a black and white version of the Simpit logo in a very artistic way to form a Simpit logo across both hands. 
They also incorporated an orange stripe from the wrist to the tip of the index finger and then put a Simpit logo in white along that color band. The orange, black, and white colors match the palm side of the glove well and it all goes together really nice. They also add an American flag to the thumbs so the gloves mark my sponsor, my country, and my name. The longer pair follow a similar theme with a giant broken SP logo across the two gloves. But on the scale of the larger gloves, it does have a slightly better effect. The orange stripe is also similar, but again, more noticeable on the longer gloves. Like the short gloves, there's a Simpit logo on the index finger in white along the orange strip. But for the long pair, instead of the country of origin flag, they went with more orange and another abstract SP logo. Again, the color scheme fits nicely with the default black palm side with the gray squiggly grip lines. Another factor when considering gloves of any kind is having them sized correctly for your hands. So I went to the IMB Racewear website, I followed their instructions on how to measure my hand properly, and I sent in those measurements, crossing my fingers that the gloves were going to fit well. When I measured my hand, I came up with 9 inches around the fattest part, not including my thumb. This had me ordering a pair in size G6, covering 8.6 to 9.5 inches. And then when I try the gloves on, what do you know? They seem to have come in exactly at that sizing. I was right in the middle of that particular size. And if you notice, there's just a little bit of an excess material. I'm in the middle, I'm not on the tightest part of it. And yet it's not too baggy at the same time. I think if I went with a size larger, they would be considerably baggy. And if I went with a size smaller, they would probably be downright too tight. I found the length to also be nearly perfect for me, bordering on just a touch too long, which is better than too short when it comes to the fingers. I did find the tips of the fingers to also be a little bit wider than my fingertips, but that did allow for making a fist comfortably. The two variations of gloves both fit the same throughout the hands, but it was the wrist area that I noticed the biggest difference between the two styles. On the Velcro closure, the wrist area is probably made for a wrist thicker than mine. I actually ended up making the strap quite tight while driving. This keeps the gloves nicely in place on my hand, but also has the Velcro strap slightly overlapping the attachment area. On the long pair, there is no Velcro strap, but instead a section of elastic stitching to pull the gloves tight around the wrists but still allowing the long ends to flare out for comfort and to overlap long clothing. This held the gloves on my hand fairly well, but was not quite as snug as the Velcro pair. Without really pulling them on really tight, the longer pair had a bit more material bunching up in the palm area. In real life racing, I do own a pair of long pair gloves and it's nice because it does fit over my fire suit, but of course I'm not wearing that in sim racing. In some ways, these were nice and comfortable without that extra closure on the wrist. However, these were a little more snug. And again, it does really come down to personal preference. How do you like your gloves to fit? And it even comes down to personal preference when you're talking about driving or wearing gloves. Why should you wear gloves? I mean, in real life racing, we wear gloves as much for fire protection as if for anything else. Now I will say, hours and hours on the wheel, that friction does add up and it will wear the skin on your palms thin. If you're an endurance racer, gloves are probably gonna make life a little bit nicer. It does reduce friction and it does make things a little bit more comfortable for long-term racing. On the other hand, it does take away from some of that fingertip feel that you get out of the steering wheel as well. Some people are going to swear by driving barehanded to be able to feel every bit of the force of feedback effects and to just drive with the slightest amount of touch on the wheel. And I totally understand it. Again, it comes down to personal preference, but again, anybody using a high performance suede or leather wheel, you are going to want to use gloves no matter what, just to save that wheel. Don't forget that very important fact or your wheel will end up looking like mine. For me, I personally have always enjoyed racing without gloves when sim racing. And I own a few different pairs of real racing gloves to choose from, but they are all fireproof and therefore rather hot on my hands for sim racing, and I have gone gloveless for years. 
But more importantly, I also suffer from a condition that I'm going to call the G.I. Joe Kung Fu Grip. When I run with bare hands, I tend to grip that wheel so hard that you'll see white across the knuckles of my hand. And that additional pressure has me pushing and pulling on the wheel, putting forces that are not the direction the wheel wants to spin. And that results in what I call faux force feedback, where you're creating your own binding forces that are actually hiding, dampening, damping the real force feedbacks being, being transmitted to you from your wheel. Well, when I wear gloves, I no longer do the G.I. Joe Kung Fu grip. I find that I don't wrap my fingertips all the way the steer around the steering wheel in the same manner as when I do it barehanded. In addition, the white knuckle grip causes fatigue. It overpowers the force feedback, robbing me of more force feedback forces, and it reduces my accuracy and my endurance while sim racing. When I started racing more in these lightweight, very thin, and not too hot gloves, I found that I didn't grip my wheel as hard. I held it more gently and felt more out of my wheel than when I was overpowering it. This was really nice and I felt that my precision was higher and lasted longer than without them. Another problem with wrapping your fingers all the way around the steering wheel is it's a bad habit to get into. So sim racers who put their fingers all the way around, wrap their thumbs around the wheel. If they ever get in a real car, it's one of the first habits that instructors are gonna break them of. And it's mainly for safety reasons because you don't want your fingers hooked around the wheel in a crash. And in today's modern world of direct drive steering wheels, they could do a number on your fingers in a crash, so you're not gonna wanna wrap them around and the gloves made me hold the wheel more on the outside than wrapping around them. Once we've conceded to wearing gloves while sim racing, it could come down to, do you want a slippery finish on your gloves or something grippy? And that could also come down to your driving style. For the drifters, they might not want the grippy finish. It's not going to let the wheel slide through their fingers as easily as if they have a smooth leather glove. On the other hand, for those who hold it in more of a Formula One style, holding their hands at 9 and 3 or 10 and 2, you're going to find that the grip really makes it nice so that you can hold the wheel very lightly and yet have a good hold on the wheel with very little pressure. These grippers really do work and hold on to the wheel. In fact, the grippers are almost like stick'em for football players, making their gloves tacky to better catch and grip a football. Other factors to consider when wearing gloves while sim racing is button pressing. A lot of our steering wheels have very small buttons. Many of them do not have protected or shielded but buttons, and therefore using a fat fingered glove is gonna be a little bit more difficult than your bare fingertips. It means it's harder to precisely press a wheel button, harder to precisely press a button box button, and downright impossible to use a keyboard. With more high-end wheels, we are starting to see larger and more protected buttons with better spacing as we get closer and closer to our equipment meeting our real automotive standards, and then a glove would be a lot easier to use. So in the end, it comes down to the first question being, do you like wearing gloves when sim racing or do you not like wearing gloves when sim racing? And I'm not here to sway you one way or other. I think I've pointed out the benefits of each for sim racing, but if you have decided that wearing gloves is the way to go for you, then you have a bunch of different varieties to choose from. And let's be honest, you can start out at 15 to 30 bucks with some inexpensive driving gloves, like some chauffeur gloves, or some unpadded mechanic gloves, which all do a very, very good job, but they do lack a little bit of personality. And in many cases, in those solid gloves, you might only find three or four choices in size, maybe making them not fit as well. Or you could go the route of real life racing gloves, which will range anywhere from 30 bucks to, well, mine cost nearly $200, which is quite honestly an obscenity for sim racing. And they're a little bit over padded, but more importantly, they still lack that personality, although they are perfect in size. And that takes us to purpose built sim racing gloves. And there are a few companies that make them that I am aware of, but these are the first that I've tested. And yes, they are expensive, coming in at $54 or $68. But between the thickness, which is just great for sim racing, and the sizing choices of eight different sizes, making them fit like a glove, 
and the ability to make them your very own definitely makes IMB Racewear Sim Racing Gloves an excellent choice. I mean, how cool is that? I have my very own customized gloves to match my car paint schemes, my company logos, and it even has my my country of origin and my very own name. I love having my own customized gear. It makes me feel like a pro sim racer. So I hope you've enjoyed my review of the gloves. Without seeing other gloves or testing, it's hard to make the comparison to anything other than real life gloves or other types of gloves that we could use for sim racing. But I think I presented all the options that IMB Racewear has for you and you can find it all at their website. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe right here at The Sim Pit on YouTube. And if you want to see my personal racing, all that is done at Sim Pit Live on YouTube. You can check that channel out as well and be sure to subscribe too. That's going to do it for this one. Get out there, do some sim racing. This is The Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.